Jean Krupa, born in Chicago in 1909, was destined for musical greatness. He discovered his love for drums at a young age. Krupa's parents, devout Catholics, wanted him to be a priest. However, the allure of jazz proved too strong. He received his first drum set at age 11, igniting a lifelong passion. Krupa's talent was undeniable. He honed his skills playing in Chicago clubs. His energetic style and innovative techniques set him apart. Krupa's early influences included jazz greats like Baby Dodds and Zuddy Singleton. He absorbed their rhythms incorporating them into his own unique approach. By the mid-1920s Krupa was already making a name for himself. He embraced the energy of the Chicago jazz scene. His performances were characterized by raw power and infectious enthusiasm. The young drummer's reputation as a rising star began to spread. Gene Krupa's arrival on the jazz scene marked a turning point for the drums. Previously relegated to the background, drums became a lead instrument in Krupa's hands. He understood the potential of rhythm to drive the music and captivate audiences. Krupa's style was characterized by its power and precision. He employed a heavy use of the bass drum creating a driving, danceable beat. His tom-tom work was equally impressive, adding layers of rhythmic complexity to the music. Krupa's solos were legendary, filled with explosive fills and dynamic shifts. Beyond his technical abilities, Krupa brought a showman's flair to his performances. His infectious energy and captivating stage presence made him a fan favorite. Krupa's charisma helped to popularize jazz drumming and inspire a new generation of musicians. Through his innovative techniques and captivating performances, Krupa revolutionized the role of drums in jazz. He elevated the instrument to new heights, paving the way for future generations of drummers. In 1938, Gene Krupa etched his name in music history with his iconic drum solo in Benny Goodman's Sing Sing Sing. This groundbreaking performance captured on film at Carnegie Hall showcased Krupa's extraordinary talent and solidified his status as a jazz legend. The Sing 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 solo was a revelation. Building gradually in intensity, Krupa's drumming became a force of nature. His thunderous bass drum, lightning-fast snare rolls and perfectly placed cymbal crashes created a symphony of rhythm. The audience erupted in thunderous applause, captivated by Krupa's virtuosity. This legendary solo transcended jazz, capturing the imagination of music lovers worldwide. It became a defining moment in popular music history, showcasing the power and excitement of jazz drumming. Sing, sing, sing remains a staple of Krupa's legacy, a testament to his enduring impact on music. Gene Krupa's legacy extends far beyond his impressive discography and legendary performances. He was a pioneer, an innovator, and an inspiration to countless musicians. Krupa's influence can be felt in every corner of modern music, from jazz and rock to pop and beyond. Krupa's contributions to the modern drum kit are significant. He popularized the use of the tom-tom, expanding the sonic palette of the instrument. His experimentation with cymbal placement and tuning helped to shape the modern drum sound. Krupa's influence can be seen in the setups of countless drummers today. Despite facing personal challenges and legal battles, Krupa's spirit remained unbroken. He returned to music with renewed passion, continuing to perform and record until his passing in 1973. Krupa's story is one of resilience, determination, and the enduring power of music. Gene Krupa's legacy as a drumming legend is secure. He revolutionized the role of drums in jazz, inspired generations of musicians, and left an indelible mark on the world of music. His innovative techniques, captivating performances and enduring influence continue to resonate with music lovers today.